Hi, this is Giselle, and this is the LinkedIn class part two. Here we'll cover company pages, groups, and writing for LinkedIn. Company profiles are the yellow pages on LinkedIn. A company cannot have a personal profile. It's against LinkedIn's rules. Think of this as an extension of your website. It's a free listing and a free billboard, and it helps with SEO. To build a company page, go to Interests in the menu bar. Click on Companies, then Create. You must have a validated email address with the company URL or web address. The company URL cannot be a subdirectory. People in multi-level organizations and franchises cannot have a company page of their own. You also can't use a Gmail, Yahoo, or Hotmail email address. You must have the company in your personal profile experience, and you must have some connections. Include all company information, website, description, address if you're local. Upload a logo and a banner. It's a square logo. Don't upload a rectangle into the square. It will get cut off. This is your online image. Make it good. Share company updates, only your blog posts, events, company news, and information. Not, on, not other people's content unless it's related to you. From the Edit button, you can add administrators and edit the page information. Administrators have to be connected to you, but they do not have to be employees. You can click on your follower count to see who's following your company page. You can create showcase pages to highlight products or services by clicking the down arrow next to the blue edit button. It will appear as a sub page of your main page. Enter the information, add admins if you want to. Upload an image and a logo for the showcase. The banner is larger than the one for your business page. Add the URL and the industry. Make sure it's an exclusive landing page, not a link to your main website. People can follow a showcase page as well as your main company page. Upload a square logo, also 300 by 300 pixels. Reserve company updates for your blog posts, promotions, and announcements. Use Hootsuite's automatic RSS posting to automatically post your blog posts into your company page. This saves a lot of time. I show you how to do this in the tools course. Sponsor update is their optional paid advertising. You can pin an update to the top so it's the first thing visitors see. If it's time sensitive, make sure you change it when needed. Analytics tell you how many people saw your company updates. They are called impressions. Same thing as Facebook's reach. And the engagement, how many users liked, clicked on, commented, or shared it. Company page insights give you some information about followers and visitors, position, industry, company size, seniority, and function. At this time, they don't provide gender, age, or location. Groups are where you can network with like-minded people. Find your target market, industry leaders, and peers and referral sources. When you join a group, you get daily or weekly digest emails, or you can shut off all the emails completely. The idea is to participate and get known. You can join up to 52 groups. In your main groups page, you can see the latest discussions from the groups you belong to. Click on My Groups to see all your groups. Discover will take you to a list of groups they think you'll like. You can share photos in discussions. There was a mobile app just for groups. All groups are private and for members only. Some are unlisted. You can tag other group members in a discussion. To search for groups, enter keywords, location, industry, etc. in the search bar. They are exact searches, so try different keywords. It'll look for those exact words in the title and descriptions. Select groups on the left. Join industry peer groups, associations, alumni groups, local groups, and anywhere your target market may be. When you find an interesting group, look to see how many members it has. Read the About section. If it's a group where you think you can find referral sources, industry information, or your target market, then click on Ask to Join. 
The owner or moderator will approve your membership. They'll look at your profile, so make sure it's complete before you start joining groups. Read and respect their rules. Generally, group members will flag inappropriate postings if you try to be too spammy. If you don't follow the rules, you can get kicked out. Anyone can start a group. You should have a purpose for the group. Who is it for? What are you going to discuss? Who will benefit from it? Is it going to be industry or location specific? Once you've thought that all out, from the group's homepage, click on My Groups, then click on Create Group button. Fill out all the pertinent information. Upload a logo. You can invite people to join and they'll be able to read the summary and the description. Make it enticing. It's tough to get people to join a group when there's only a few members. It helps if you have some like-minded people as core members. If you have an existing organization and you want to make it exclusive, you can make your group unlisted. Once the group is formed, you have to manage it. You can create posting rules, have moderators to help you review posts, and OK new members. Don't create a group if you're not going to manage it. If you're determined that LinkedIn is a major network for you, then I recommend Hootsuite Pro to monitor your groups. You can see all of them in one page. Here is an article that I wrote explaining how. When you find a website you want to share on LinkedIn, click on the Share on LinkedIn button and this window will pop up. LinkedIn will bring up the picture from the page and the description. If you don't like it, you can edit it. If you're connected your Twitter account, you can share it to Twitter at the same time. Hashtags at present only work on LinkedIn's mobile app as they do on Twitter. Watch the class on hashtags to learn how to use them properly. The update area is what will show above the preview in your personal updates. You can also share it to any groups that you belong to. Start typing the name of a group, then click on it to add it. Add the title of the article and hit share. You've just hit several birds with one stone. Add, link Add LinkedIn buttons and widgets to your website. This helps with SEO and makes it easy for people to connect with you and to follow you. Choose what size you want the personal profile button to be and copy the code and paste it where you want it to render on your site. You get HTML code to create the widget or button. If you don't know how to add the code to your site, send it to your webmaster or take one of, your, one of our WordPress courses. Writing for LinkedIn really establishes you as an expert in your field. It's like writing for your local business journal, more in-depth articles than a blog post. Always remember who your audience is on LinkedIn. To write an article, click on Write an Article from the home page. Upload a picture that will serve as a header. Write your blog post. Add pictures and videos or slides by clicking on the icon that appears to the left of the text. A box opens so you can select what you want to add. Also include links to your website, calls to action, H2 headings, bullet points, bold italics, and or quotes. You can copy and paste from Word, but watch the formatting. Delete any extra spaces. This is what the picture will look like. Depending on the size, make sure it's a good quality picture. After you hit publish, you are prompted to share it to your personal LinkedIn updates. You are encouraged to add hashtags. At this time, they only work on LinkedIn's mobile app. The next step is to share it on Facebook and Twitter. Also use Hootsuite to share it to your LinkedIn company profile and to Google+. With Hootsuite Pro, you can share it to your LinkedIn groups. Get as much reach as possible. You can also repurpose blog posts from your site a few days later by writing on the top this post originally appeared, appeared on, and then your website's link to that article. Make sure you link it. This helps with SEO and you don't get dinged by Google for using duplicate content. Then copy and paste the article. 
also link to other related articles on your site and don't forget the call to action. How often should you write for LinkedIn? Well, it really depends on who your target market is. If you determine that LinkedIn is going to be your main focus, then two to three times a week. Otherwise, once a week will be good. It's about getting, to, getting known as an expert in what you do. Don't oversell. Don't overpost in groups. Respect their rules. Don't share. Don't sell. Serve. Don't sell. If you're not very familiar with LinkedIn, there are demonstration videos as part of this course that will guide you through the network and show you how to set everything up and start connecting.